district to take a look at it so there's no interest across the board other than housing partnership because you know it, it actually looks like a pretty good lot it's at the end of school hill lane it's behind the house on, on lee road but it gets very wet in there brooks running through there but it it looks like a it's a substantial problem it's 27,000 square feet but it's pretty wet and it would be a nice buffer for the people who own it their 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 home Back of their house to the lot line is probably only 25 feet. It's a brand new home. But it's just a flow. It's a grandfathered lot. Mm -hmm. So 25 feet behind them. I think what they're looking for is just a privacy. They're the ones with the, uh, the mailbox on the other side of the house. Is that right? Nope. No. The last house to the left on the road. Right? They get some access on two streets, oh, right? right. The street. The stuff behind the other side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so that one I don't have. Just so long as we get some assurance from the uh, from the uh, building inspector that it's not buildable, go ahead. You know, put it up. Yeah. Let it go. Get it back on the tax roll. Oh, yeah. I, Mr. Chair. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I basically agree with Mr. O'Leary. Um, my intention would be to sell everything as non-buildable, so that we don't negatively affect you know, the finances of the town by selling this property. Because as we know, when we sell something buildable. It does not make up for the increase in monies across the town. We've had some that we sold on buildable that end up being built on. Though. Yeah, well, I know it. <laughs> I know it. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm not. I'm, I'm in favor of moving forward, but I would, I would only be in favor of whatever we sell as non buildable. If, if we have some parcels that are, that are potentially buildable, we may want to look into permitting them and then selling it off. Because right. that way they would maximize the value to the town because us getting it permitted should be far less expensive. Mm -hmm. so we have a town engineer, we have you know, everybody working for it. But uh, again, we I don't know how much we have yeah, in it that's either. in that category. Most of what we have is small parcels or large wet ones. Yeah. But as far as what's been put before us for consideration, Mr. Chairman, just those. Uh, Juniper Road and the Main Street properties have been before us before and for some reason, and I, th I think what we have to do again is, is take a look at our policy uh, in order to, uh, to facilitate the sale of these things. So people aren't going to step up and pay, you know, the assessed value. Well, we also are required to put it off the bid, right? That's yep. right. Oh, yeah, right. Put off the bid, but, uh, but we've been using them assess value as the minimum bid and sometimes the assessor's way of valuing property is not necessarily market value and it works both ways sometimes it's a little low well, sometimes it's a little high and many, time, many times it's been work one many, way. Many, <laughs> time, many times as we could see the, the assessed values were way too high and we ended up paying and which is case in point of what we have here for some of our town owned parcels mm -hmm. overvalued right, well, what's the uh, Recommending that you ask, we ask the town administrator to <coughs> various departments take a look at those Main Street property and the uh, and Juniper and Juniper and also uh, the Burroughs Road property and talk with the DPW see if the land swap could be facilitated and see if it makes sense. What lot was that? Uh, it was that? lot that was map eight. Parcel 195, which is the town owned land, which is right, right on Burroughs Road. Right. And the people yeah, no, I, I, I just I thought that <coughs> I had It's on the first page, yeah, page one. one. And then the other thing is, I think we're missing a letter on the Algonquin Road. I believe we are also. Yeah, we're missing a letter. I believe that the Ellerts, uh, E-H-L-E-R-T, are people who need to be contacted and see if they're still interested. I forget what the other uh, the butter's name is. Steve, what's the uh, land swap uh, parcel with okay. the it's yeah, pass right down a shot. It's 102 is what they own. They own 102 and they want to swap for 195. It looks common. Good, sure. Take a look at it. Again, this Algonquin Road, if I recall correctly, again, just got caught up in the assessed value again. Was it? It's not worth anything to anybody else, really. But we were direct abutters, and they weren't looking to necessarily build another. They're not going to build another house on it. They may want to put a shed on it or a garage, but 
which is something else, Joe, I think we need to look at, too, is, is allowing people to put some uh, mm -hmm. accessory, mm -hmm. accessory buildings on them. So, you know, when we, uh, when we were voting not to allow them to put anything on there, any structures, yeah. I think we've been really restrictive in some cases. Where, you know, if someone wants to build a, a shed. Well, we've said a, a shed garage, was okay. Or a garage, like or put an addition on their right. home, go for it. You right. know? We're not talking about, we're talking about another right. residential structure. That, right, exactly. I will uh, look at last year's list and bring that back to you. Um, that shows you the parcels that the board didn't act on a year ago. I recall there was uh, Central Street, there was one, there was one out of that, uh, Martin's, two or three out of Martin's Pond. And um, there was another one down by Riverside. Drive, yeah, that that would be helpful, but I, I think if we take this list and we could get off things that we absolutely don't want to sell, it would be easier then to put a marketing plan together and also develop a policy of how we want to go about doing this. Well, I, think, I think as I look at this list, it might be helpful for the departments that are listed here that have indicated an interest in virtually everything to narrow down their top five, top ten, whatever the whatever numbers that they actually feel that they can look at and see that this is feasible and interesting. Right. But this, this is I mean, how they've <laughs> always done it. We, you know, this is the fourth or fifth time I've gone through this and <laughs> have difficulty doing anything about it. And right now we could certainly use uh, some additional revenues. <laughs> Anything else on this, Steve? Before we come and get back and so on the other piece. Rust. Yes. Yeah. No, we won't take any action until we get back on the rust parcel. Mm -hmm. But I will pick some information in with you next meeting again. Right. So great, you'll go to the department heads or committees to see what their interest is in these particular <coughs> classes. Yes. I like the idea of seeing if we can narrow their wish list down. A lot of this is wetland. If it's wetland and we're not interested in selling it, and it's conservation is interested in it. But Even if we don't transfer it to conservation, maybe we just take it off the list so we have a smaller list that we can go out and say we want to pursue bias for this thing. Like, and the, the other one that, that there's still some interest in, which I don't want to stir it up again because it comes up every two or three years, is the one off of uh, Barrage Way. Last year, we weren't going to sell. But I, I know there's still interest there. <coughs> Where is there possible? At the very, you go in Burridge Way, yep. there's, a, uh, there's an opening to the left at the end of the cul de sac, which backs up the Pomeroy Road. There's a buildable lot in there. Uh, That's to the right of that last house that's down on the left? Yeah. Right, can we add but, to uh, this? But the butters on Farmer Road, there's terrible drainage problems there and issues, and we had all the residents here last year. Yeah. And I, for one, committed to those people that we weren't going to sell that thing off until a whole host of issues could be addressed, and, and maybe not even. And, and again, it, it, it's a, a lot that potentially down the road, 2012, uh, if, we're gonna, if anything's going to go in there, maybe it should be affordable housing. The problem is, is that the access to it in this there's utilities already to that parcel because the uh, the owner, the developer, put it all in there in hopes of purchasing it from the town. Uh, they've been successful yet. Great. Uh, affordable housing, maybe, if anything. Yes, I, ha I have a, another suggestion. Yes, sir. I'd like to add a couple of additional columns to this sheet. And if you change the columns where it says no interest and no, Yes. You could shrink things down considerably. As you can put on the spreadsheet, the title's vertical. And let's add a common field. Maybe last review, where we could put a date. <coughs> so as future boards go through this, there's additional information. We don't rehash this. Would it make sense to have? I'm sorry, Does that make sense? That yeah. does. Would it make sense if we had the assessed value on here as well? At what? 
add the assessed value to these possible options? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's, that's always good for conversation. <laughs> The, uh, so all we need is yes and no's <coughs> under those names, right. and all of a sudden we get lots more room in the paper. Where's the Smith property? I'm just looking at I'm looking at large parcels of land. And, you know, I'm just looking at the this approximate square footage. And, and it didn't jump out at me. So but maybe we need to make sure that our list is up to date. I don't see it. Huh? I don't see it. I wouldn't know what the street address is. Park Street? Uh, probably Elm, Elm street. street. Elm Street. Yeah, it'd be Elm Street. Doesn't have an address. But it, it would still be a huge Say off off it's not off yeah, right. it could be off a right street. right street. Well, it's, it's um, it maybe multiple parcels, too. By the way, it's not here. No, it's not here. There's only one of the Elm Street. Again, oh, yeah, off of Chestnut Street is here. Both of them are off of Parsonage is here. See the the one that's off Chestnut. I think that I think this list should also. Um, I think it's uh, page five, graph fifty six, parcel sixty two. That's the one that we set aside half or part of it. It's not all of it for the uh, support of living. Mm -hmm. How's it done? Mm -hmm. So that so there should be a notation on there like uh, spoken for. <laughs> you know, the books that take it off the list. Uh, Smith property, so I guess I, I would have to question a little to make sure if we have uh, have this up to date. I mean, I I'm not the author of the list. Of right, it predates me, but I, I'm wondering if it's just those parcels that it, that meet the definition for being surplus or not utilized that are on here. Because I'm not sure we included we included it. Yeah, but the uh, Smith was a park property. Accepted some sort of grant money for it being along the Ipswich or something, but sure. that was just for a little sliver of it, I think. That and Eisenhower is on here. Although those are all lots added up. So. Is Eisenhower all on here or not? I don't think so. Well, go to, uh, no, all the Eisenhower acquisitions are not on here. But what's on here were the Town owned oh, parcels, the town owned parcels. parcels that are included within Eisenhower Park, Park right. are on here. And I think at this point we need to take those off. Is that the Oscars Way? Is that the two twenty? No. So some of these ones up of Oakdale. Or cherry, or first, or third, or magnolia. I don't know. We have to double check it, but there's probably a few in here. Your cherry Street. So you might want to uh, call them from the list. Yeah, we need the list. Let's see. Cherry. Yeah, Cherry Street. Cherry. Fourth Street. Third Street. Double day. Uh, I think Greg, uh, Greg is right. This list doesn't include properties that are <coughs> being utilized. Oh yeah, I, think I think we've got a combination of both here. I think this has just been a list that's been ongoing and continued to carry forward. And now that we've got the uh, Eisenhower Park Park, I think there's a few parcels in here that can be just taken right off because they're included. Yeah, we paid it off for them. Actually, these we didn't pay. These we, we got for nothing. These are the ones we got for nothing. We got for nothing. 